Hey everybody, Dan here from Sci-Fi Models and Stuff, and today we're going to be looking at a new kit I just got, the Fishman from The Shape of Water. When The Shape of Water first got a limited release in 2017, I was so excited to see it. I'm a big fan of universal monster movies like Creature from the Black Lagoon, and this movie took films like that to the next level by adding in a love story set on the backdrop of the Cold War. I absolutely love this film, and as a big fan of the director Guillermo del Toro and monster actor Doug Jones, I've been on the prowl for any kits from this movie since then. Now the sculptor and producer has asked to remain anonymous, so unfortunately I can't tell you where to pick one of these up. Since I haven't started this build just yet, I'm a little bit short on content, so cue the ASMR. Now for this build I needed some extra resources. I picked up this amazing Shape of Water coffee table book off Amazon for a couple bucks and it's honestly incredible. There's plenty of behind the scenes, director's notes, notes about the story and some of the character backgrounds, and of course plenty of behind the scenes shots for the creature's design. There's actually a whole chapter devoted just to the creature's design which I found really helpful. And of course, there's these amazing close-up shots of some of the colorations and texture on the skin. This is going to be a big help later when I get to the painting stage. The kit is cast very nicely in a standard resin, but it seems to be very lightweight and maybe hollow. Uh, like most resin kits, there's a little bit of cleanup to do. There's a seam line that runs basically through the entire piece, but that shouldn't be too bad. There's a few extra pieces that are uh, included separately and will have to be glued on. There's some fins for the top and a couple of ear-like fins that go on the side. There's also these eggs, which are kind of a fun touch to go along with the egg motif throughout the movie. Those will be stuck on the base. The base itself is sculpted in a brick-like pattern, like the brick pool and research facility in the film. And there's some really neat wave texture on the back that should paint up very nicely. I've seen one other build where the artist painted a nice picture basically on the back of this kit where there's extra room and that might be something that I try as well. There's a lot of free space there and it's, it's really just empty space that needs to be taken up with something. And that's all we have for now. To see more of this build and others, check us out on Instagram at Sci-Fi Models and stuff with a link down in the description. We've got a lot of projects, paint ups, and kit reviews in the pipeline, so we should be uploading more content soon. Thanks for watching.